Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today I'm here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Virgo placements out there. So if you have Virgo as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this message might apply to you. Your person is whoever is currently under your mind right now. You two may be in separation, in communication, at a distance from one another, or maybe not too sure where you both stand with one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do get started, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for all my Virgo placements out there, so it might not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it doesn't, please don't take it personally. So let's get started with some messages from your person. Just the two of us. The cosmos took their time with you. You're constantly on my mind. Okay, so so far there's there's really nice energy between you and your person and how they view you. Um, I feel like they view you as someone very special that you kind of only come across once in a lifetime or since they met you, they kind of compare everyone else to you and kind of, it's kind of like a where have you been all my life and now that you're here, how come I couldn't find you sooner? Um, I feel like you inspire your person. You could be just someone with a good heart and someone whose soul matches the physical. So you're just a beautiful person inside and out. I feel like you've really shown your person something different when it comes to just people in general. You're more of a real genuine person, someone who doesn't switch up or someone who stays true to themselves. You could be the person who's not really into social media as much or you just don't care. Like what you post is what you post. You don't try to sugarcoat things, just your personality. It's like you take it or leave it. And even if you're more of like a person who stays to themselves, does their own thing. They admire that sort of independence. It's like you're not caught up in the mainstream and that's what they really like about you. Then we have just the two of us and you're constantly on my mind. I feel like you could be, you could have been seeing 222 recently that also just came up in, um, my Scorpio reading. So you might be dealing with the Scorpio um, or have been seeing the number 222. But I feel like with this type of connection, your person, if you ever heard the song, just the two of us, like you, we can make it if we try. Like if there is any like tension or uncertainty with this connection, I feel like your person is willing to see it through with you and try to make things work and then with your constantly on my mind you've definitely made an impact on this person with just how you are the type of person you are and we'll know more with the cards next to come if there's anything else about this specific connection but so far these are really good cards for this connection i see you leveling up You feel like home. My heart remembers this love. Okay, so you could have been feeling like your person is your person. Like as far as them maybe being a soulmate or having like a soul contract with this person or even the twin flame. Those are all different terms, but if you feel like you are dealing with someone who mirrors yourself and they feel like home, that could be a soulmate. So this might be a soulmate connection. Um, they feel very at ease with you. And I feel like that's that has a lot to do with your 
persona and like how you don't try too hard you don't try hard you're just yourself and you have a very some like in a way not exactly carefree but when it comes to life you take things how they are um i don't see you as you let people do their own thing and when it comes to your own thing you're comfortable and confident with who you are and i don't think a lot of people realize how big of an effect that makes to someone or for someone and then the outside looking at that person because when you live life for yourself and you're only concerned about things that make you happy and promote the goodness for yourself you just promote a lot of abundance into your life and like you're leveling up so a lot of people I feel like it can be hard to come into that energy or just naturally have that energy because nowadays we're so consumed with what others are doing or comparing our lives to theirs but anyways this person feels very at ease with you and they feel comfortable around you you could have had some more deep level talks with this person I'm just feeling like it was a very real energy with my heart remembers this love that has to do with you feel like home this could be someone like a soulmate like someone you feel like you were destined to meet and once you two met all this goodness started like happening and things became easier for you and them there might be some separation right now. We'll know more with the detailed cards, but we have I see you leveling up. I feel like your person knows that with or without them, you're going to do great regardless. So if you two are not speaking right now, they definitely know that you're good. Um, I feel like if anything, you don't let things put you down for too long. You always have your eyes on the next improvement that you can make and with that it takes your mind off of this connection because you always have something you're working towards so your person if you haven't heard from them lately that doesn't mean they're not missing you but they know that you might be better off without them because you're doing so well What attracts me the most is that you're a boss. You make anything happen, nothing gets in your way. I know my baggage can be a turn off. I don't blame you for rethinking this. Just know I'm always willing to listen to your needs and concerns. I don't want you to think you're not a priority. The treatment I've been showing you is nothing like what I wish to show you, when the timing is perfect, I'll make up for everything. You'll know how much I care. So yeah, um, if there is some sort of tension or no communication from your person, I feel like they know that right now you're good and you're, you're better off without them. You could be dealing with another Virgo placement. Um, yeah, there is some sort of maybe disruption in this connection. It Maybe their communication kind of dropped, like they're still texting you, but it's very dry. Um, yeah, and then I'll go with this card. I know my baggage can be a turn off. I don't blame you for rethinking this. Just know I'm always willing to listen to your needs and concerns. I don't want you to think you're not a priority. So I feel like, Virgo, you could have reconsidered things about your person and maybe you're definitely all that they wanted but then you kind of took a second look at them and maybe all the things that they have going on in their life and from there you kind of disengaged from this connection because of what you kind of noticed um it could be a situation where you two were getting to know each other everything was going well and then 
you notice little habits or tendencies that you knew might not work the best with you. Um, this person could be somewhat needy. And I think right now you kind of disengaged yourself from this connection because you didn't want it to bring you down. Like I said, you have, well, just with this card, what attracts me the most is that you're a boss. You make anything happen, nothing gets in your way. You weren't going to let what they were bringing to this connection weigh you down. And I'm not even saying that you were thinking that in any sort of like a shallow mindset because I don't think it was anything like surface level that you got turned off about. I think it was more you kind of witnessing little things that they did or habits and it's like you realize it might impose on your freedom and how you do things. Um, we have I see you leveling up and with you being a boss like you're not going to let and even if you didn't initiate this maybe they started distancing themselves from you and then you quickly caught on and then you were like okay there's more to the there's more to them there's more to everything that they've been showing me so far and you just thought something about them was toxic so you chose to back off even more um, and if they haven't reached out to you or have tried to, but you're, if they've tried but ha haven't like been persistent with it, I definitely think it's because they think that you don't need them and you don't. Um, they know that you make things happen regardless and you're still moving forward. And yeah, but I do feel like there were some true colors that were shown and it chose you to have a second opinion about your person but for them they see you having everything together and they see this connection progressing in the future but right now I feel like you're kind of weighing the option to and even if they were to come back it wouldn't you wouldn't let them in so easily but yeah, that's all I do have for my Virgo placements out there today. Thank you all for watching. I hope it resonated. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.